course, we're uh, effecting uh, changes that are starting to show up uh, starting uh, this week, inshallah. Uh, each minister in his uh, portfolio and in his uh, uh, minister and uh, in ministry, rather. And of course, we're going in this segment to take a, a comprehensive look over the changes that were effect in the ministers that were focused on and uh, how is it going to be able to promote and enforce the wheel of development economically, culturally and politically. We're very delighted to be having with us live over the phone Mr. Amr Abdurrahman, the political and economic analyst. Uh, good morning, uh, uh, Mr. Abdurrahman. Well, good morning to you. Hello to you How and you dear doing? viewers. How are you doing, sir? Thank you so much. Of course, uh, First of all, we need to point out the changes that took place inside the cabinet. Uh, first well, of all, let us talk about the ministers that were uh, the uh, subject to those changes. First of all, as a foundation okay. to our talk. I would say that uh, there are uh, brave changes uh, into uh, ministers uh, younger at age and uh, yearning to mm. prove themselves mm. in the uh, post of responsibility. Mm. Such uh, situation urges each and every uh, new minister to start uh, and try to, um, to compete with time because mm. uh, we have really no time. We are running out, out of time as we are uh, facing huge uh, challenges uh, at all levels, uh, interiorly and, uh, and, of course, uh, outside. Exactly, but Mr. Abdurrahman, uh, we would like first to uh, name the ministries that were subject to, this, uh, to the uh, changes first, uh, uh, one by one, so that we could be able to, if you like to have your uh, reservations over any uh, ministry, uh, which one did you really, uh, where you found that it was uh, very optimistic to have uh, effect that type of, cha type of change at that time. Uh, let's first start with the... Uh, ministries. Okay, uh, I would start with the uh, the Ministry of Industry, mm. uh, as well as uh, that w that was gathered to the Ministry of uh, Transportation. Mm. And I would say uh, this is a very important and intelligent choice. Why do I say this? Because it was my principle mm. that we need uh, military leaders to the civilian uh, ministers, ministries at all levels. This is a very brave and courage step. This uh, symbol, I believe, it's very concerning to, uh, and connected to the concept that we are truly at war, not by guns, not by weapons, but economically, industrially, as, uh, at the level of uh, competition, at the level of uh, the international influences that, uh, that are trying to manipulate the world, as we are seeking to maintain the strong march in our uh, development uh, and mega projects, that, that agenda, that historical uh, mega projects that we have launched, uh, since the beginning of the presidency of Mr. President uh, President Abdel Sisi, we need that vision that gathers uh, the, the the military, uh, mil militarily and the civilian uh, concept. Uh, this uh, this recipe, I would say, to maintain this strength and giving the 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 the, the, the spirit and the commitment and uh, the firm decisions and the brave decisions that we need to take, especially in this uh, uh, two ministries ministry that, uh, that were gather, uh, gathered together in a, in, a, in a new vision that we uh, expect to find um, positive results uh, at the near future. Mm. Also, we, we, uh, we are concerning, we are, I'm so concerned about the, the file of, and uh, uh, of the foreign affairs uh, ministries, uh, ministry we, that we have uh, said we have uh, said goodbye to a very great uh, minister, which is Mr. Sam Shukri, who, who, who was 
one of the greatest uh, personnel, one of the greatest um, uh, ministries that put and lift a, a true um, print and a true uh, a, um, memory that that the world will will, will remember, and, and of course that gives and put uh, uh, a big responsibility of the, the new minister, uh, Mr. Badr Abdel Ati, to uh, fulfill the same uh, position, to, uh, um, to, keep up, to keep up the same good work that Mr. Samah Shukri has uh, struggled to achieve, uh, especially on the strategy of the balance between, in our relations, our strategic relations with the, the world, worldwide uh, powers, whether with China, with Russia, with other countries uh, in the East and the Far East, of course, as well as the, the same strength uh, uh, with other uh, countries in the West, like France, like Germany, like the U.S., like Britain. The, uh, and, of course, we can never forget that the, the Egyptian diplomacy has succeeded in too many levels, especially on the African side, we have regained uh, too much of our leadership in our uh, in our um, backyard in, in Africa, mm. uh, connecting the dots, uh, fulfilling the gaps that was created throughout the, the past uh, regime for 30 years, and we have reconnected the, the relations with our neighbors and brothers in blood and roots in Africa. This is a very important uh, thing, too, very, very important. Uh, and, of course, we, we are talking about uh, the Ministry of Finance, Mr. Ahmed Kojuk, who is uh, responsible now to keep up the strategy of the nation, the strategy of the state, the, strat the strategy of the republic that is... Uh, aiming to, uh, to protect the, the, the nation and especially the sectors who are truly in need from the, the consequences of the uh, developing uh, of our economy, which is a very critical job, very critical mission to keep up the, the developing of the, uh, our economy measures, to keep up that um, a united vision between the military uh, association, economically and uh, agricultural, uh, agriculturally, as well as the governmental sector, as well as the private sector, all together in one course. This is a very huge and delicate mission. I believe that he will try his best to achieve uh, success in this uh, critical mission, as I said, as it sh he should uh, keep in mind to protect the, 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 the great, uh, the, the, the huge sector of the nation, which is uh, what, what we call it the middle sector, which is a very important. And, of course, the lower sectors uh, economically that ne needs a uh, very uh, closer look and uh, conservative look to change uh, any mistakes that happened before to, uh, to correct any mistakes, and of course to continue the keep, uh, to keep up the good work of that strategy that Egypt, only Egypt, is uh, adopting uh, all over the world with, uh, with uh, the, the, that fine line between the East and the West, between uh, not, uh, not to lean to, so, uh, to so, uh, uh, socialism and not to lean to capitalism. It's a fine line between the two uh, sides, which is a very important thing here. Also, we, we're talking about the, uh, the Minister of Edu Education, which uh, he has uh, a very important and delicate uh, responsibility. So uh, I believe that all, we are all witnessing that are, there are... Um, true gaps in our uh, education file, and it should be fulfilled and corrected. Um, we need to make 
the, 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 the education is more connected to our own identity, our own culture, our own uh, basis of uh, civilization, more, more than to be connected to other countries, especially to the West. Uh, our own uh, culture is Eastern. Our own culture is Egyptian, which is uh, the leading civilization all over the world. We need to, be, to enhance uh, that uh, in, in, in the memory, uh, in, 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 the, um, in the memory of our own uh, new generation, that there is a war that, is na that this nation is going on and will, will find uh, even harder time concerning the challenges that we are uh, up against. For, for, those, for this generation to come, they should be prepared. We have all witnessed how the, the, uh, the, the Zionist uh, generations are uh, having this hostile agenda against us raised since the, the very beginning of their own teaching uh, classes to hate the Egyptians, to, to have this hostility against, against the Arabs. And that have, of course, we have all witnessed in, in, their, in their brutality against the Arabs as if they are doing it for, 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 for their God or for a religion, in a religious way. We need to be prepared. We need to revive the, the sense of patriotism in, this, in, the, in the memory of our own uh, generation to stand up against the, the greed uh, of this, this unit existence and the, the powers that are supporting uh, that existence from abroad that should be in the, in the heart and in the mind in the, uh, of, the, of the new Minister of Education. Right. As well as we... Please. Mm. Right. Uh, uh, this uh, cabinet reshuffle lately, that happened lately, was uh, uh, described by observers and political analysts as the most uh, decisive, as uh, the most thoughtful uh, uh, by uh, the state because it targeted... Uh, vital ministries like the Ministry of Defense, like uh, the Ministry of Finance, Ministry of Education, and uh, you know several other ministries also, the Ministry of Housing, and important ministries were subject to those changes. Of course, the um, former minist ministries like uh, um, uh, Foreign Ministry and other ministries that uh, was attaining the positions were perfect ministries, and the current, the choices also, the current choices are. Uh, uh, absolutely excellent but uh, the question is that uh, that raises itself now after the cabinet reshuffle what are the dire uh, requirements or uh, the dire files that needs to be addressed for uh, the ministries that are subject to those changes to live up to the standards and the expectations of the nation and the leadership the leadership that has put that has put its trust in those new uh, ministers to live up to that to that uh, uh, test, they are in a test of time and a test of a, of a true, delicate, and a very important uh, mission. We that those changes come in a very critical time in our own history as we are witnessing wars all around us. And we are witnessing uh, what I would call it uh, economical siege around us. We are all uh, watching the, the, the international powers that are trying to manipulate our uh, independence, but we are standing still like a rock and we should remember that each and every minister on his post is a soldier that is working as a soldier to remember that his success is a matter of life and death or death. There is no other uh, alternative. We are in a state of war, not a declared war, not by weapons, but economical, political. Uh, we are fighting a war of our own to protect our own independence that we have created since the, the, the June 30 revolution. Since th this moment, we have created our own uh, capability to be uh, isolated from any uh, leaning to the West or leaning to the East, but only seeking our own best interests. 
whether to the east or to the west, each and every citizen, each and every minister remember, should remember that each and every citizen is ex expecting his best work to do. He shouldn't go to, to, to work, uh, to, uh, to, he shouldn't go home until he's truly feeling he has fulfilled his mission on this day. Mr. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi sent uh, almost 10 years that he, he told the, the whole nation and the, the ministers that he wakes up at 6 and starts working at, at, uh, eight, at 8 or 9. That is the same strategy uh, of the, 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 the new ministers should, uh, to be, up, to be uh, obeyed and, and, uh, and, uh, and, to, and to take the, the, the same initiative to start early morning and never stop until they are truly finished, not, wait, not just uh, their, their official days of work. And of course, they need to reduce their own uh, vehicles' uh, power uh, usage. They have to, to, to work as a citizen, each and every one of them. They, make, they, make, they, make, they need to make the nation re uh, realize that they are belonging to the same nation that put its trust, trust in them. The material realized that this, this responsibility in this very time means a lot to the whole nation. They have to, to, to go on and de develop their work, to, to compete with themselves, to realize that we are in a challenge of cultivating. We have a, 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 this, a, a, the, a, um, this in, in, the, in the file of agriculture, we have historical challenges. We have the, the, the climate changes that, uh, uh, that Egypt and the whole world has never witnessed in, in, the, in the near past. For, for, for centuries, we have never uh, witnessed this, that uh, concerns our power energy, our power sources, our, uh, our, uh, our, uh, in the file of agriculture, we should seek new crops that uh, conserve uh, using uh, usage of the water and fight the, 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 the heat and the, the raising of the, temp the, the temperature. We need to, to have this thought out of the books. Out, out, of the, uh, out of the box. They need to remember to, to revive their... Uh, they shouldn't take the post as a, um, as a present or as a crowning for their march in the, in the future, but to start up again. This, this is a new, fresh start for each, each one of them. This is the, the, what the nation is uh, expecting. And, of course, the leadership is watching thoroughly what uh, they will do in their own uh, in achieving those uh, goals. Right. On that note, Mr. Amr Abdurrahman, the political and economic analyst, would like to thank you, sir, for talking to the breakfast show, and you have a good day. And we're going to go to a short break, and we'll come to continue the breakfast show, so stay with us.